Think a man went on a rampage along the Parkway East. He was stabbing at people and vehicles with a screwdriver. This is some of the damage he caused there, including throwing a brick through a PennDOT windshield. There are also a lot of threats being made to police. We were there as he was arrested. It's video you see only on KDKA. Lisa Washington joins us now live with more, including new information released overnight by state police. Lisa? Good morning, Rick. State police released the name of the suspect overnight. He is 25 year old Darren Bivens. He is from Pittsburgh. Now, we were able to get a copy of the court papers from court earlier this morning. We know that he faces 62 charges, both misdemeanors and felonies, including aggravated assault and propulsion of missiles into occupied vehicles. State police say for unknown reasons, Bivens stopped his vehicle on the Parkway East Sunday afternoon and that he began damaging vehicles that were disabled and attended on the Parkway people whose cars had broken down and they were waiting for help to come. Police say Bivens used a bicycle frame that he took from one of those cars and a screwdriver to damage the vehicles. They say he tried to stab several people with a screwdriver and threaten them. One person had minor injuries. Bivens is also accused of picking up a brick and throwing it into the windshield of a PennDOT tow truck multiple times. KDKA was there when state police took him into custody. The witnesses talked to us and described his behavior. I have two kids under five years old in the backseat of my car and he grabs the hold of the handle to try to get into our car and stabs, starts, starts stabbing through the side windows where my kids are in the back. In all, there were 11 victims in this case and five vehicles that were damaged. State police say that Bivens made specific threats to shoot and kill Pittsburgh police, state police, even PennDOT employees. He's being held here at the Allegheny County Jail. We're reporting live this morning. I'm Lisa Washington, KDKA TV Morning News.